The next feature which we are going to implement for our API is field limiting. Basically, we want to allow users to select which field they want in the result. So for a client, it's always ideal to receive as little data as possible in order to reduce the bandwidth that is consumed with each request. And that's of course true when we have really data heavy data set. And so it's very nice feature to allow users to only request some of the fields. So let me first show you how we are going to implement this feature. We are going to specify which fields we want in the result in the query string. So for example, after the endpoint, we will specify a query string called fields. And there we will specify which fields we want in the result. For example, let's say we want the name, we want duration field in the result. We want price field in the result and we also want ratings field in the result. So this is how we are going to specify which fields we want in the result. Now, how are we going to implement this in Express app using Mongoose? Let's see that. Let's go to VS Code. And after sorting, let's also write the logic for limiting fields. So again, just like sorting, first we are going to check if request.query object, if it contains a query string called fields. Okay, if it contains that fields, then we are going to write the rest of the logic. So here, basically what we can do is, on this query object which we have here which this find method and sort method is returning on that we can use a select method again this select method is also a query method so the select method can only be used on a query object and here when i say query object i don't mean the query object which is created with the query strings in the url here I'm talking about the query objects which is returned by the find method or the sort method or any other query method of mongoose. Now here to this select method we need to specify the fields which we want. For example we want the name field in the result and then we want the duration field in the result, we want the price field in the result and we also want ratings field in the result. Okay so as you can see we are separating these fields by a space but in the URL in the query string we are separating it using comma so we need to write a logic to replace this comma with a space for that let's go back to VS code let me comment this line here and then let's go ahead and let's create a variable let's call it fields and what we are going to do is on this request dot query dot fields so basically this request.query.fields it is going to return us this string okay what we want is we want to split this string based on this comma character so for that we can use the split function on this request.query.fields and there we will pass comma as the character by which we want to split the string so this expression here is going to return us an array and in that array this name will be one element this duration will be one element price will be one element and ratings will be one element so all these values will be an element of that array which this split method is going to return and now what we want is we want to join all those elements into a single string value separated by space for that we are going to use join method and there we are going to pass the delimiter as space so whatever element we have inside the array which this expression is going to return we want to join those elements into a single value into a single string separated by spaces now if you want to learn more about split method and join method then in the description box i will share the link for those you can go ahead and you can check it out all right now all we need to do is we need to say query dot select and there we need to pass this fields let me also go ahead and let me use console.log statement and let's log this fields okay and here we are going to assign the result the query object returned by this statement back to query object okay with this let's save the changes Let's go to Postman and here let me simply go ahead and let me make a request. So here we have specified this fields query string and to that we are assigning 
these values. Now, if I click on the send button, here we have an error and it says cannot read properties of undefined. Let's go back to VS Code. And that's because we are using the split method on the field. But if you notice, the query string name is fields. It is not field, it is fields. So we need to correct it. So it should be fields. Let's save the changes again. Let's go to Postman and let's make the request again. And now we have the result. And in the result, you can see that now we have only name, duration, rating and price field for each of the movie object. This ID will be there by default. You cannot exclude it. And if I go to VS Code, there you can also see the fields variable. So it is basically storing a string. And in that string, we have this name, duration, price and ratings separated by spaces. Okay. And this feature of selecting only some selected fields is called as projection in MongoDB. All right, now if the user do not specify this field query string, in that case, it should return all the movie objects with all the fields. Now from all these fields, what we want is, we want to exclude this underscore underscore V because this underscore underscore V, it is used by MongoDB internally. We are not going to use this property. So we don't want to return this property in the result. So if the user has not specified any field query string, in that case, we want to return the movie object with all the fields except this underscore underscore V. So we are also going to specify a default field limit. So let's go to VS Code. And there after this if statement, let me also add an else. And there we want to specify that if the user has not specified any field query string, in that case, in the result, we want to have all the fields except underscore underscore v and doing that is very simple so let me go ahead and let me copy this line of code from here let's paste it here and to this select method we will specify the field which we don't want in the result so we don't want underscore underscore v now in order to tell that we want to exclude this underscore underscore v field from the result before this we also need to use this minus sign so now if I go ahead and if I save the changes, if I go to Postman and there, now if I make a request, here you see we have not specified the field query string. So if I make a request here, we should have all the movie objects with all the fields except underscore underscore V. So now you can see that we don't have the underscore underscore V field in the result. All right. So if you want to exclude a field, you can use this minus before that field. And we can also use this minus in front of a query string to exclude a field. For example, if I go to Postman and here let's specify the field query string. Okay, so let's say in the result, we don't want the duration and ratings field. So here, let's remove this name from here. We want to exclude the duration field from the result. Let's also remove the price field from here and we also want to exclude the ratings field. So if you notice in front of both of these fields, I have specified minus. That means in the result, we want to exclude these fields. So if I click on the send button, now in the result, you will not see duration or ratings field. Okay. So from the query string also, if you use this minus sign in front of the field, that will be excluded. But Keep in mind that to this fields, when you're specifying the fields which you want to include or exclude, you can either specify only those fields which you want to include, or you can specify only those fields which you want to exclude. For example, here, I want to exclude this duration and ratings field. So for that, I have used minus in front of them. But if I go ahead and if I specify, let's say name field. So for example, I want to say that I only want to include name field in the result and I want to exclude duration and rating. This will not work. Okay, if I try that, you will see that we have this error, cannot do inclusion on field name in exclusion projection. So basically, it will take the first field, it will check whether we want to include it or exclude it. Based on that, it will make the projection as exclusion or inclusion. Here, since the first field is having this minus symbol in front of it, it will make the projection as exclusion.
so in that exclusion projection you cannot include a field which you want to include here if i remove this minus sign in that case the projection will become inclusion projection but here we are also specifying a field with this minus sign so now if i make a request it will say cannot do exclusion on field ratings in inclusion projection so since the first field is not having a minus sign here we are creating an inclusion projection and in that inclusion projection we cannot have something like minus ratings we cannot have something which we want to exclude from the projection so keep in mind that to this fields you need to specify only those fields which you want to include or only those fields which you want to exclude you cannot have a mixture of both all right now at last i also want to show you that a field can also be excluded from the result using schema for example if i go to vs code here we are creating this movie model so basically here we are defining the movie schema so it is also possible to specify the field which you want to exclude in this schema and one of the examples where you might want to do it if you have sensitive data that should only be used internally in such cases we can simply go ahead and exclude that field from the schema for example let's say things like password should never be exposed to the client and in such cases we should always exclude it from the result and that can be done in the schema in this movie schema we might not want to show the user when the movie object was created so if i scroll down we here somewhere we have the created at property here we have this created at property so this created at property we might not want to show to the user so in this case we want to hide this field from the result and doing that is very simple all we have to do is here we need to specify another property called select and here we can set it to false and that's it let me go ahead and let me save the changes let's go to postman and there let me remove this query string from here so now if i go ahead and if i make a request we should have all the movies in the response and in there you will see that the created at field is not shown in the result okay you see created at field is not shown in the result so here we are excluding the created at field from our schema by specifying this select property to false this is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.